this is Pony Prepper Bill. Today I wanted to talk about a snowstorm coming. Uh, supposedly, anywhere from zero to three feet of snow, like Saturday, Sunday, maybe Monday. Uh, heavy winds, heavy rains. We could lose power. You know, that's what they said last year too. They say it all the time. I'm not expecting anything, but I'm prepared. I got wood. Got wood for the wood stove. You know, uh, two year or I guess it was last year, uh, around Christmas, we were supposed to get a snowstorm. We didn't, but we got sleet, rain, ice. We got all kind of bad weather. And my whole, I had so much wood outside, and I got some on the deck that was covered with plastic on the, you know, on the back wall, so the rain didn't hit it. But it rained. Rain was coming sideways. From the left, from the right, from the back, the whole back porch was full of ice. All, all my wood, all my firewood was frozen and stuck together. Every time I went to get a piece of wood, they were you had to bang them apart. So, with wet wood, you get a good fire going. And then when you're almost out of wood, you throw an ice brick in there. You're going to drop the temperature of the wood stove. It's going to take forever to get hot again. It's going to be, you're, thaw, you're trying to thaw out something that's soaking wet and all the water starts popping, all the moisture. So I was bringing wood in, a lot of wood. And, you know, we got hardwood floors. So I had a wood rack in the back. I don't know if I had that up there last year, if we took it out. But I had blankets, uh, like a rubber mat for a workshop. I stuck that on the hardwood floor. And I put piles of wood and I crisscrossed them. I put like two or three across, two or three the other way. Two or three across, two or three the other way. And fill them in, but you want a lot of room for it to get air. I stuck it all around the wood stove. And I think I videotaped it. And I never made a video, because I didn't. But I would put some in the back, some in the front, and the heat dries that wood out and I you know of course put a blanket or something on the bottom or you know a sheet or not a sheet but you know a towel so all the moisture just drips down and it'll, it'll soak up the moisture that would dry wood out within an hour and as soon as one pile was going down I'd start on another one and I'd bring more wood in and stack it where the other pile was and I'd work my way back like get two or three going at the same time that's how I keep my wood dry um, if it's wet you know and I don't know what we're getting this year this weekend my wife thinks we're gonna get a freaking blizzard and I think we're gonna get rain yeah. but I just want to post this on this is how last year how I kept my wood nice and dry if it gets wet how to dry it out real quick um, you know it was um, in the teens last christmas it was in the teens and it was so freaking cold outside like you know the wood was frozen I, I i couldn't get my truck my truck door with everything was frozen um oh what a pain in the ass when it gets that cold but the wood stove you get that going in here i mean i think the coldest I ever gotten here was like in the 60s and upstairs because we got that high ceiling that goes all the way around uh, upstairs gets super hot down here if you have a fan blowing it, it'll cool you know warm off all the rooms otherwise you gotta leave the doors open you know the bathrooms right across from the heater so it's not that bad but for some reason people close the door so that you go into the bathroom it's freezing freaking cold you want to get a shower but if the power goes out which it has a lot in the winter time we've cooked on that thing quite a few times you throw a I mean, it's hard to regulate it, the temperature. You know, you can't really put a burner on high or low or medium or turn it down. You pretty much turn your stove up, turn it down, try and you guess. Sometimes you burn your eggs a little bit, but you know what I mean? You can cook. Throw up, you know, can of beans on there, pork and beans, eggs, hash browns. You can get two pans and a pot on there. Just be careful you don't spill stuff on it. You know, you don't want to crack it. And, but an emergency works great. Heats the house. That's that's our main heat source. It's our only heat source. Uh, great for if the power goes out. 
and it's our backup emergency cooking. So this is Plenty of Prep Bird Bill, and that's how I keep my wood dry or get it dry. And I'll talk to you later. Uh, hopefully we don't get a snow bomb or snow cyclone or whatever they want to call it this year. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.